today we will discuss about the detail about AC circuit. Okay. We will start with the AC circuit. First of all, you should know that there are three types of load. One is the resistive load. Okay. Another one is the inductive load. And another one is the capacitive load. Okay. So, you should know all the functions of resistor, inductor and capacitor. Can you tell me what is the function of resistor? Yes, it is used to oppose the flow of current. We can say that. Oppose the flow of current. And its unit is ohm. Right? Its unit is ohm. And resistor is denoted by R. Now tell me about the inductor. Inductor is denoted by L. And what is the standard unit of inductor? Inductor standard unit is Henry. Okay. You will get this in terms of milli Henry always generally. So 1 milli Henry is how much Henry? 1 milli Henry is 1 into 10 raised power minus 3 Henry. Okay. Clear? Now, in this inductor, what is the function of inductor? Can you tell me? Yeah. Function of inductor is to oppose the change in flow of current. Okay. It is used to oppose the change. Basically, inductor won't allow the change. Like suppose there is an inductor here. Okay. If the current flowing is 0 ampere, then it will allow like 0 ampere. If current sudden changes from 0 ampere to 100 ampere, so it won't allow the sudden change. So from starting it will 0, then 10, then 20, then 100. Okay. Like in resistor, if you change the current, then output also suddenly changes. Right. But in case of inductor, inductor won't allow the change. If you increase or decrease the current, Output also decreases or increases but, but not at us that instant of time. It will take some time. Okay. So, we can say that inductor opposes the change in flow of current. Clear? There is one more function of inductor that is it stores energy in the form of magnetic form. So, we can say that it stores magnetic energy. Okay. Next is the capacitor. Can you tell me the, what is the standard unit for the capacitor? Standard unit for capacitor, yeah. Standard unit of capacitor is farad, okay. And farad is denoted by F always. It is generally in questions it is given in microfarad. So 1 microfarad is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 farad. Clear? <coughs> okay. So we can say that. Now tell me what is the function of capacitor? Tell me. Yeah. Function of capacitor is to store energy. Right? And it stores energy in the form of electrical form. So we can say that it stores electrical energy. Right? Now suppose we are having one plane wire and the one wire with a resistance. In which case current can flow easily? In the plane wire or in the resistive wire? Yes, obviously in the plane wire current can flow easily like there is a flow of opposition because current is flowing resistor is opposing the flow of current like suppose this is your room okay and you want to enter into the room but there is some bodyguard over ro your room so he is opposing you to enter in your room right similarly we are having one plane wire and the one wire with the inductor in which case current can flow easily the plane wire or the inductive wire tell me no it's in the plane wire <coughs> okay 
so it inductor also opposes the current okay i told you no that inductor opposes the flow of change in current correct so if there is a plane wire and inductive wire the current would flow easily in case of plane wire it means there is some amount of resistance present in the inductor right that that is opposing now because resistance only oppose the current so there is some amount of resistance present in inductor correct that is a inbuilt resistance of the inductor we didn't add any extra resistance okay there is some amount of resistance present in the inductor like suppose we are saying that if like being human being we always know what is good thing and what is bad thing right so there is something which resist from uh, which resist us from doing the bad thing right so there is some amount of resistance also in us so similarly we are having resistance uh, already inbuilt present in the inductor and that resistance present in the inductor that is known as inductive reactance okay that is known as inductive reactance inductive reactance is denoted by xl okay and there is a formula for xl that is xl is equal to omega l what is omega here omega is the angular frequency and omega is equal to how much 2 pi f so can we write down xl is equal to 2 pi fl <coughs> and it is only the resistance so the unit of resistance is ohm so xl unit is also ohm correct so we can say that xl is the <coughs> inductive reactance and inductive reactance is basically the resistance <coughs> offered by inductor right resistance offered by inductor and xl is 2 pi fl or we can say omega l and its unit is ohm right what is inductive reactance basically the resistance present in the inductor okay clear this thing yes that is xl next thing is xc okay xc is what capacitive reactance reactance so if we are having plane wire or capacitive wire in which case current can flow easily the plane wire or the capacitive wire plane wire right so there is some amount of resistance present in the capacitor right so that resistance is known as capacitive reactance okay so there is a formula for capacitive reactance that is 1 by omega c again omega is equal to how much 1 by 2 pi fc clear it is its unit is also ohm so what how can we define capacitive reactance that is the resistance offered by capacitor <coughs> right any doubt again yeah ohm no no ohm only because xc xc is the resistance okay <clears throat> so what we have studied till now if there is a resistor then we'll use resistance only right if there is a <coughs> inductor then we'll use inductive reactance right and if there is a capacitor then in that case we'll use capacitive reactance resistance would be resistance only xl would be omega l that is 2 pi fl and xc would be 1 by omega c that is 1 by 2 pi fc and all are the resistance right so all units we are having that is ohm resistance unit also ohm uh, inductive reactance also ohm and capacitive reactance also ohm clear <coughs> any doubt up to here good 
next suppose see in this numerical will came okay they said there is a inductor okay and that inductor is connected with an ac supply so we have connected an inductor with an ac supply ac supply symbol is like this till now we have studied about that dc supply right till now we have studied about the dc supply that is positive negative now but here we'll represent ac supply like this okay <coughs> yeah this is the ac supply and this one is the dc supply in dc supply we talk only about the resistance but in ac supply we'll talk about the resistance inductance and capacitor or the combination also <coughs> we can use their combination also combination means r l k r c and r l c okay so in this question what they said in this question they said only that there is a inductor okay and inductor is connected with an ac supply of how much voltage 250 voltage and frequency is how much 50 hertz they have given okay in india how much frequency is used 50 hertz right so generally in question you will get only 50 hertz out of india like in us how much frequency is used 60 hertz okay if you see your charger then you will see the uh, like uh, <coughs> all the ratings in that then you will get to know that they wrote it like that 50 slash 60 hertz means it can work on 50 hertz frequency also it can work on 60 hertz frequency also <coughs> clear now have they have given the value of l also that is maybe 0 0.05 milli henry okay now they want us to calculate current that how much current is flowing through the inductor <coughs> tell me how can we calculate current just think yeah we are having ohm's law correct ohm's law is how much v is equal to i into r but in this it is a inductor right and i just told you that inductor resistance is how much xl right Inductor resistance is denoted by XL and XL formula is 2 pi FL. So we'll apply this thing in here. So V is equal to now we don't write V is equal to IR. Now we'll write V is equal to I into XL because there is an inductor and inductor resistance is denoted by XL. Okay. Voltage we know that is 250 volt. <coughs> Current we don't know. Excel we know no this is L 0 0.05 milli Henry is the L okay we need to calculate Excel see how do we get to know by the unit they said Henry Henry is the unit of L or Excel Henry is the unit of L, so they have given L. They don't given they don't give us XL. If they said 5 ohm, okay, then ohm is the unit of XL. Then we can say that 5 ohm is the XL given. Okay, so we can detect this by using by seeing the unit. So XL is how much? That is 2 into pi into F into L, right? So 2 we know, pi we know. Frequency we know 50 and L we know that is 0 0.05 milli Henry <coughs> Right, so can we solve it? XL is equal to 2 into pi into 50 into 0 0.05 into 10 raised to power minus 3 After solving we will get the value of XL Right So we know V is equal to I into XL v is 250 xl we will calculate from this we'll get the value of current that how much is the current flowing through the inductor understood <coughs>